fellow ink drinkers, and welcome back to the Blind Girls Book Talk podcast. My name is Arya, my sister's name is Belle, and we're two legally blind sisters who love reading and love books, and so what we've done is we've created this show in order to talk about that. We talk about a wide variety of bookish topics, and that can range from bad retellings of stories, book-to-movie adaptation comparisons, buddy reads, recent reads, bookish challenges, really, the list does go on and on. And today, as you can tell, I am here all on my lonesome. <laughs> so essentially what happened is Belle had finals and right after she was done with finals, she had to go up back to our home state because she had several appointments and such that she needed to go to. And so because of that, I've been kind of left on my own recording we didn't really have a lot of time to try to bulk record, so it's just little old me. And this week, what I decided to do is just talk about recent reads, essentially, because that way, you know, it's, it's something that's easy for me to talk about without Belle here. So that being said, currently, I am really hardcore struggling through a reading slump. I thought that taking off some time would have helped. It has, uh, but also it has not. <laughs> I'm still really, really struggling to just read in general, and it sucks. And I, I know it's just I just need to take the time off, and I just need to not read that much, but... You know me, I try to push through it <laughs> a lot of the times. And so that being said, the... So, okay, when I was thinking of doing this episode, there was one book that I wanted to talk about. And it's called The Book of Azriel. And the reason I wanted to talk about this book is because... It was pitched in such a way that I thought I would be all in for it. And then it became a very different story and it didn't really quite happen. Like things didn't quite really work the way that I thought they would like going into it, which is fine because, you know, things are allowed to be different. Like the author is allowed to tell the story they want to tell but it's just not at all what I was expecting with this book. And there were so many times that I almost DNF'd it. But there, I, honestly, <laughs> real talk, the reason that I kept pushing through was because it, it was a book that fulfilled a couple requirements for the Kindle bookmark challenge thing. So that's why I kept going. <laughs> but there were many, many times that I almost quit that book because it just, it wasn't what I was expecting. And it just wasn't like, it was very strange because it wasn't clicking for me. But at the same time, I was still being kind of pulled along by the story and that's that's always a very strange feeling for me because it's just like I don't like this. I'm not or not necessarily I don't like this, but this isn't my cup of tea. I'm not vibing with this. So I just I should not, you know, I should stop reading it and then like it just it's you just keep going. For those of you I don't want to spoil anything, obviously, so there may be some light spoilers through this part. You can go ahead and skip a little bit. But the thing that I think bothered me most, again, spoiler warning, is the fact that I wasn't expecting a lot of like PTSD situations in this book. 
and I think it's it was cool the way it was done as like an outside perspective, you know, trying to kind of take a step back from it. It was really cool how that was done. But also it just wasn't what I necessarily wanted to read. And I maybe there were trigger warnings in there. I don't know. I I always try to go into a book mostly blind, especially to trigger warnings, because a lot of times trigger warnings will prevent me from reading a book. I would rather get to that part, like for whatever is potentially triggering and then make that decision as I go through it. Like that's like going through the trigger warnings for a book like Butcher and Blackbird, let's say, because they are very clear about what those trigger warnings are. I'm very concerned to read the book. I know Z has read it. She's loved it. Belle has read it. She's enjoyed it. And I want to read it, but because of those trigger warnings, I'm very concerned to read it. So, like, that's, I think, my problem. I'd rather go in and just, if something weirds me out, I nope out at that point. But, like, for things where it's just like, yeah, this is all the things, like, right up front. I like I don't know. I struggle with that personally. I know it's very helpful to a lot of other readers. I get that. So like I'm glad authors do it for that reason. It's just not I just can't. <laughs> I am very strange. So yeah. But so that book just not at all what I was expecting. Not at all on how I th- Like, I thought it was going to be very different. I thought it was going to be a much spicier book than it actually was. There was, like, one scene that was, like, half spicy, but not really. Like, it was, compared to some of the other things I've read, it was relatively tame. So, yeah, I don't know. So that's what I was going to talk about. Well, I guess I've already talked about it. So, going into this episode weeks ago that's what I was going to talk about but then I read another book between that and what I'm currently reading now and that book is called The Blonde Identity and I believe the author is Allie Carter now this book I absolutely adored again this is another book that Z had read and Z was like this book is great (laughs) and Me being me, I'm just very slow a lot of times to get around to different books, especially books where you have to buy the Kindle version. The the reason I love Kindle Unlimited is I'd much rather pay like a subscription fee and get a whole crap ton of book options As opposed to like just buying the book directly. And I know like that's not right necessarily. Like I know that the authors probably get more if you buy the book directly and that kind of thing. I get it. It just it works better for me. Honestly and that's why I'm a very big fan of Audible too. Because, you know, I pay once a month for the subscription fee and in getting that subscription fee, I get a credit to be able to go and actually buy a book. Like, I like that kind of system better, too, as opposed to just buying, you know, like e-copies of books or audio book copies of books. Because my thing is, if I I have no (laughs) self-control. So if I open that door, I'm opening a Pandora's box and it's not going to be good for me financially. It's going to be really bad. And so, again, like it's one of those I know that it's probably better for the authors, you know, to actually sell their books. And like I want to support the authors, but at the same time, I cannot financially support all of the things like I I would if I could but I I unfortunately cannot and so yeah but anyway so 
eventually when I got some Amazon cards, I was able to buy the copy of The Blonde Identity. And I really, really, truly enjoyed this book. I do recommend it. It is a very, like, it's just a fun book. General premise, it is about a girl who she wakes up with amnesia and a bunch of people are after her. (laughs) And she thinks that she's a spy. She is not a spy, actually, but she kind of gets dragged into this world of espionage and, you know, running from bad guys and that kind of thing. And she meets a guy along the way who helps her out. And yeah, it's it's a really fun story. It's a really good book. I really enjoyed it. Again, it's not a spicy read, actually. It's pretty... It's extremely tame. (laughs) I think it's more of like a closed door romance is what you would call it. And that didn't take away for it from for me. Like I know some people are, you know, all spice all the time and I get it. But like for this one, it was actually a very good palate cleanse in a way because the romance aspects were there. But it wasn't like hardcore spicy book, which was nice. Like you need those every so often. You really do. But yeah, I, there were some parts that were super funny. I, I loved it. I, I did make a lot of awe noises I know, as I was reading this book. And it was the first book that made me think, man, maybe my reading slump is breaking. Maybe. And... Uh, the date of recording this we're like a week or so into may and yeah i i haven't finished a book yet you know it's just the struggle has been real and (laughs) you know i'm just trying to get through it i'm probably not going to meet reading goals this year and that's okay totally understandable things happen sometimes you have bad reading years and that's okay but yeah so those were the two books though I do forget who the book of Azriel was written by and again like I don't think that that book was necessarily a bad book it just wasn't for me it wasn't vibing with me I know a lot of people really really like that book so I apologize if this is like one of your favorite books I I'm sorry it just didn't vibe for me and that's okay I can understand why people would like it but it just wasn't for me and then The Blonde Identity by Ali Carter love it highly recommend it if you're just looking for a fun read Like, just a fun little romp. It's a good book for that, and I really enjoyed it. So this episode, of course, is going to be shorter because it's just me talking about books. So that being said, I want to thank you for coming along today as you listen to me talk about, you know, a couple of recent reads that I had recently. Of course, if you like this episode, if you like what you've been listening to, please consider following the podcast and sharing the episode with your friends. It really would help us to grow the show, and we would appreciate the support those actions would give. And hey, if you just want to leave a review, that would be okay too. And then next time, I honestly don't know what we're going to be talking about, because Belle has the potential to be up in our home state for a lot longer than we anticipated so it might just be me next time and if it is I will figure out something to talk about and if it isn't then we will go from there we'll go with our regularly scheduled program but because I don't know what is going to happen I don't want to say yeah this is what's going to happen next time for next time to roll around and then it just be me saying oh yeah (laughs) sorry guys I didn't know what was going on so 
we will see what happens next time. It will be a surprise for all involved. So again, thank you so much for listening and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.